I was like, I can't miss a chance, you know, to link. Like, I'm trying to link. You know, I got to do what I got to do. You know, I thought I was about that. <clears throat> we ain't going to talk about it a lot. But I'm like, bet. What's up YouTube, it's Giante here, back with another video, and today I'm coming at y'all with another sneaky link, but this time we got a twist. So, I'm doing my best sneaky link ever, but there's three of them, so we're going to break it up into three parts. And to unlock the next part of the video, the previous video has to hit 10,000 views. I'm just saying, I think we could do it. So. So I want the next video, get this video to 10,000 views, and boom, I'm dropping it. So anyways, we gonna get into my first sneaky link. The first sneaky link was my freshman year of college. And I met the girl off Tinder. For y'all judging, for y'all judging. Every college student uses Tinder. I don't recommend it. If you're not looking for a hookup, don't recommend it. I just don't recommend it in general. Like, the app is average. Like, those apps are average. But yeah. I was using Tinder, I know, I know. Down bad, I'm down bad. Anyways, so, you know, I'm scrolling through, match with this little redhead girl, boom. So I'm like, damn, like, you know, I'm like, okay, good. So we get the snapping and stuff, we get the texting, and we just basically telling each other, you know, things about each other, like where we're from, how old we are, what we major in, stuff like that. So then she ends up telling me where she's from, and like where she stays right now. And she's like, yeah, I stay with my roommate. I live over here. I'm like, damn, like, that's only like 15 minutes away from me. And she's like, oh, really? That's crazy. We definitely should hang out sometime. Like, we should link. Like, I'm like, bet. No, I appreciate it. Bet. So one day I'm out at the mall with my friends and we all chilling. And, and I get a text message and she's like, yo, would you want to swing by? And I'm like, she's like, are you busy? Would you want to swing by? And I'm like, well, I'm at the mall right now. But like, we just finished up, like I'm about to be on my way, like I'm probably like 10 minutes away. And she's like, okay, that's fine, just pull up. I lied, I'm not gonna lie, I lied. I was like 30 minutes away, I was on the other side of Cleveland at the other mall. <laughs> but I was like, I can't miss a chance, you know, to link, like I'm trying to link. You know, I gotta do what I gotta do, you know, I thought I was about to, <clears throat> we ain't gonna talk about a lot. But I'm like, bet. No, I appreciate it, bet. So I'm like, I'm on my way. So I'm driving there, I'm driving there. Then I get to thinking like, now mind you, she live in a, not a rough neighbor neighborhood, but a neighborhood that I, like, I'm not accustomed to. Like, I don't go there often, you know. I'm very aware of my surroundings and I'm so accustomed to my own environment that like every time I enter a new one, I'm like, this could be a setup. Like, I don't even know this girl. Just met this girl. She, all wanna, she already want to link. That's why I say everybody be careful with who you link with, especially off these dating apps, like, spooky, spooky, scary, spooky, scary, spooky, scary. So I pull up, <clears throat> I park, and I'm like, I'm here. First red flag, she's not texting back now. She was texting the whole way there. The minute I see him outside, take a minute to reply. So she takes like two, three minutes to reply. She's like, just come to the door. Not I'm coming down, none of that, just come to the door. So I'm like, all right, bet. So I'll get out the car, you know, I'm looking around. It's dark outside. It's about 6, 7 p.m. But like, you know how outside is like, how it gets darker earlier. Like that's what that was. Like it was darker, but it was early. So I'm like, I'm looking around, I'm like, bruh, five dudes come running out, I'm fucked. So it's like, I guess I gotta yellow it. So I'm at the door and I'm just waiting there. Like she hasn't came down yet, I'm just waiting there. So I'm like, ah! Yep, this is where it happens. This is where I get set up. I'm like, mm. it's time for her to come downstairs. I see where you were coming from. Finally, she gets to the door, opens the door. Not even gonna lie, I'm gonna keep it a band with y'all. When I first matched with her on Tinder, she was. I looked at her. I'm like, she's like a six. What? But again, I said it. It's only for hookups. Like you know, I'm just chilling. Like I don't gotta. Like you know, I don't gotta really worry about her face too much. To a certain extent, you know. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Like, 
obviously gotta be semi attracted to you, but not all the way attracted to you. Cause like, it's whatever. She opened the door, she's standing about like 5'1", so she's look, she looks way shorter than her pictures. And she's actually like, cute. She's like a nine. I'm like, bro, you're literally, you suck at taking pictures. Why are your pictures so bad on Tinder? Like, I literally end up telling her like, bro, you're a horrible picture taker. Like, you look mid in your pictures. You look good, in, like you're fine in person. Like, you actually look good. And she's like, oof, I need to start working on taking my pictures. But I didn't tell her that immediately. That was like later on, like once we like became like closer and stuff. But anyways, so we, we walk upstairs, you know, looking around, you know, chilling. Still nervous, whatever, paranoid. No, y'all know me. I'm paranoid. I'm not gonna lie, I'm paranoid. So I get upstairs, I'm chilling. I'm laying on the bed. I'm sitting on the edge of the bed like this. And she's like, are you good? I'm like, yeah, I'm good. Like, you know, like, she's like, you know, you can like lay back here. And I'm like, all right, <laughs> shit, like, all right. Now I'm laying back here. We chilling, we talking. Next thing you know, we get to kissing. Y'all know how that go. When y'all just chilling, y'all looking at each other, y'all talk about shit. Next thing you know, boom, one thing, y'all get to kissing. So we kissing and stuff. And I'm like, like, you know, it's getting all intense. And she's like, hold on. I'm on my period. That's where she got me. And she she literally told me like, I low key had you come over while I was on my period just to see how you were before I slept with you. Like before we went any further, I wanted to see what kind of like guy you are. Like would you be, were, like were you gonna be mad that I was on my period? Were you gonna, gonna just try to leave? Anything like that. And I was like, no, it's cool. Like we could just chill, like whatever, whatever. This is where I play my little game though. So this is just like the first part of it. So basically she was like, I don't know how we got on this topic, but I'm sitting there chilling and I'm like, she's like, I'm like, yeah, I don't really finish off head. Cause I think she was telling me like the guy she been with or whatever. I'm like, yeah, I don't, I don't finish off head. Like that really don't happen. And she's like, what? I'm like, I don't finish off head. Like I ain't even gonna cap. She looked at me. She said, I ain't even gonna cap. Oh, hell no. I said, <clears throat> <clears throat> and she's like, oh yeah, you wanna bet? You wanna bet? I'm like, nah, bro, like, it ain't, it's no point. And she's like, no, we can bet, like, we can bet. Like, watch this. What do you mean by that? And I'm like, okay, bet. So she's like, pull your pants down. I'm like, okay, pull my pants down. She gets to going ham. I mean, ham, like, OD going crazy. I'm laying there, I'm like, five, 10 minutes go past, still having nutted. She comes up like, are you not, did you not finish yet? I'm like, nah, I told you, like, I don't finish off head. She's like, hold on, give me a second. Goes downstairs, comes up, back upstairs with water. Take a hard ass swig. Something like that, right? Throw her hair, throw, throws her hair in ponytail, you know, tie that shit up real tight. Went ham for about another five minutes. Another five minutes. Going crazy. Told my toes get the curler, I'm like, Nutted everywhere, literally everywhere. I was like, splash, you know? And she was like, I told you, like, trying to flex. I'm like, okay, I'm like, I guess you got me. Like a lot, you I guess you, I guess you got me. I guess you got me. But no, I was like, I was like, okay, like, that's rare. But I was like, you see how long it took you? Like, it took you like 25 minutes. Like, I'm not gonna count. Like, it took you a minute. Like, she just, whatever. So then after that, we was just chilling. Next time I came over is what solidified that sneaky link for me, like, which made her like, you know, one of my top tier sneaky links is because I came over and we was chilling, you know? And, you know, I already know her by this point. We talked a little more, we done hung out, you know, I, we done went grocery shopping, we did all this other shit. So we chilling and, you know, starts off again, we kissing and shit. And then we started, you know, we about to have sex, we about to fuck, whatever. And I'm on top. So we get to fucking, we kissing, fucking, all of that. And I'm choking her, like I'm choking her up top. And out of nowhere, she gets to choking me back, I swear to God. Choking me back. What do you mean by that? I'm on top, and she flips me over. I'm like, did you? Just flip. My eyes like, she really just flip my eyes over. So then she gets to choking me back while like on top. 
So that if that right that moment right there, like I promise you, like I swear to God, I'll never forget that moment in my life. What made that sneaky link so good is because she was dominant. Like she actually didn't mind trying to be dominant. Like even when she was on the bottom, she was like thrusting. I'm like, how are you? Are you? This is where I get my videos from on TikTok when I'm like, she's putting in work from the bottom. Like she was thrusting from the bottom. Like it felt amazing. I'm like, this girl is like top tier and she naturally has a dominant personality. So I should have known like sexually she's dominant. She was scratching, she was grabbing. The skin pulling is really something new. Like I had never experienced that. Like she was pulling my skin. Like not like scratching, but like pulling. Like, you know what I mean? Like really gripping my shit. But yeah. But yeah, that's basically how it went. Like I literally, she just ended up being a part of the top sneaky links. Like there's a, one, there's only one person who was better than her. If y'all get this video 10,000 views, y'all gonna see why the other girl was like top tier. But she solidified it because she was so small. Like I'm telling y'all, she was like 5'1", maybe like 120 maybe. And just dominant. Like she just was like so aggressive. Like I've never been choked like that. Like for one, like I was like, whoa, like we're choking each other right now. Like we're literally choking. Like we're looking at each other, choking each other. And I was like, yeah. She's fire. So, y'all want the next two? Get this one to 10,000 views. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. And yeah, just keep running it up. Make sure if y'all want more videos like this, y'all hit the like button. Y'all hit the subscribe button. Y'all fucking share these videos. Y'all do all that good stuff. And once this one hits, once this one hits 10,000, then y'all get part two and three. Come on, bruh. But yeah, if y'all want more videos like this, do the things I said. Subscribe. Hit the like button. Comment what other story times y'all want. They don't gotta be sneaky links. Like, but yeah, that was that. It's Deontay, and I'm out.